That today is the deadline for public opinion and comments on net neutrality and over 50,000 people have sent in what they think and what their position is on the campaign here on Times Now that is to free the internet. The government had invited comments from the public on proposed framework on net neutrality and today was the deadline. Several activists and internet groups have promoted the campaign and over 50,000 people have given their recommendations. The government has been engaging at various levels, but by how long would probably take uh, for them to arrive at a decision so far? And what bearing would it probably have on the consumers of the internet surfers if it's not done uh, at the earliest? Uh, network neutrality, not only in India, but also across the globe, is a complex area uh, to deal with. And it is not surprising that the Indian government, like uh, European regulators and the American government is taking time to come up with a final policy prescription. But you're absolutely right. There are many harms that emerge from network neutrality violations. There are three broad categories of these harms. Free speech harms because of blocking. Uh, competition harms because of zero rating and throttling and diversity harms because of the building of walled gardens. Some of these harms are irreversible and therefore what the government should ideally do is ban services such as internet.org and other walled gardens that are clearly in violation of network neutrality. I think the most important aspect of the comments that have come in is that that attempt to redefine net neutrality for India. Uh, people are aware of that attempt. So what had happened was even in Parliament as well as from the telecom operators, we've seen a shift in the definition of net neutrality, an attempt to shift the definition of net neutrality as to trying to give everyone access to the internet. But that's not what net neutrality means. Net neutrality means that everyone should get access to everything on the internet. Mm -hmm. All sites should be treated equal. And this ensures that there is enough diversity, there's enough plurality on the internet. People get access to all possible sites and not just private bubbles that are created by either Facebook.